Hey, what's happening? I got a really cool thing I want to show you guys today about how Kali works, uh, no matter what the weapon category is, and why Kali is one of the most effective and practical martial arts when you're looking at self-defense, right? When you're looking at the fighting stuff. All right, so if you're interested in self-defense, if you're interested in the fighting stuff, hang with me, hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get training. Boom. So what are we looking at right here when we're in the flow of Kali? I know a lot of people, well some people, not too many, you know, I think most people are smart, but there's a few, you know, bad apples out there. And some people will put in the comments and they're like, dude, that's not what stick fighting looks like. Well, maybe. It might not be what you're used to looking at. But hey, check this out, right? Come with me real quick. Sorry about the bad lighting. But I gotta make a point to you real quick. The reason why it doesn't look like stick fighting that you're used to is because we're not actually stick fighting. We actually got these things, right? And here's the deal, is that if you're stick fighting how you are used to seeing it, and then you're all of a sudden you got someone charging at you with one of these, right, or whatever, you can't transfer the skill. Because you can get hit with a stick, but you can't get hit with that, right? You can pretend and try to ignore the shot with the stick when you get hit in the face or something like that with a stick, but you can't ignore the fact that you got hit in the face with this. You won't even have half your face anymore. All right, so we need continuous principles that transition from weapon to weapon, right? And that's why you're looking at it. That's why we move around the way that we move around. So I've seen some comments out there like, dude, this is like, this isn't stick sparring, this is stick fencing. Have you ever been to a fencing class? They will rip you apart, all right? There's a reason why they're Olympians. So from here, right? Here's the main thing though, here's the main thing. Besides all the footwork and the quartering and all that stuff, right? Let's take a look at some of the main principles that we're, that we're always looking to apply, regardless of what we have in our hand or absent of, all right? And this is right here what makes Kali so brilliant, all right? So from here, what is the main thing that we're looking to do, right? Where a lot of martial arts are coming in, he strikes at me, he's trying to hit me, I'm gonna block this, and there's a big passive thing. In Kali, it cha we change the psychology of the fight. When Ali, if he tries to hit me, what I do is then I go, boom, and I take his hand out, right? So from here, go nice and slow, I go, bang, and I smash that hand. Or with that blade, I remove the hand, okay? This makes a whole different psychological uh, presence that you're bringing to the fight. Instead of being passive and being like, oh, no, he's going to hit me, now everything is a target. Anytime he starts striking, he can strike as wild as he wants. I always go, hand, hand, hand. Hand, 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 it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna take the hand. Because when I break your hand or cut it off, you're not gonna be fighting anymore with it, right? So the cool thing is that if we learn that on the stick, or really on the sword, we do the same thing right here with the knife, right? Nothing changes. I don't need to sit there and just go into this block and kind of feed type of stuff, right? Because even if, even if I get this and I thrust him, right, he's gonna react, he's probably gonna, yeah, or you're just gonna pull that down, cut me, and I gotta fight maybe, well, if you live here in Chicago, we got flash mobs, so you might have to fight 15 to 30 more people, right? Work your way out. You should come hang out with us, man. It's, it's a ball over here, <laughs> right? But here's the deal, like, anytime that he's coming after me, right, I just start to cut that hand. I look for the hand, boom, 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 right there. So the reason why it's starting to look all like fencing, not quite like, oh, that is not how people knife fight. It's simple, because this guy knows how to maneuver. He knows how to move. He understands footwork. What am I gonna do? Stand still and he knows what he's doing? <laughs> so again, it goes back to just the same overriding principle, right? One, we gotta move, and we'll teach you how to do that. If you're in the academy or you're in the inner triangle, you come out and train with us, we'll teach you how to do that. I can't do it on YouTube, guys, I'm sorry. I just can't teach that stuff on YouTube because I just won't. Right? But here's, well, because everybody's watching YouTube and I don't know who you are. When you're a student of mine, I'll teach you everything you wanna know. But here's the deal. No matter what he does, right, I'm looking to take that hand. He can attack me however he wants. I'm taking that hand. Boom, boom. When I come in to attack, I'm gonna take that hand. 
The cool thing is, if we were in the absence of the weapon, the principle still transfers. So say he starts to throw punches at my face. Bam! I break the hand. That's what I'm looking at doing. I'm going to destroy that. I'm just a machine of destruction. Kali, right? So from there, right, if he starts throwing punches, I just go, bam, boom, I want to destroy those punches. Comes in, I want to, bam, I want to hit those things with the thrust of the elbow, right? He might come in with a combination. One, bam, right there, break the hand. So nice and slow, boom, bam, right there. And some people are like, oh, that's so hard to do. You need good timing. No, what you need is you need to get your ass to class and you need to train. That's how you develop these types of skills. You gotta train. You can't sit there and just watch a video and be like, oh, dude, that don't work. Don't work for you. It works great for me, right? Or just come out to my ITC, man. We'll spend five days together. So right there, smash that thing, right? Most of the time, when you see these types of destructions, what it does to someone's hand who's determined to punch you and bust your face in, their knuckles get split all the way back to the wrist. You get the little tendons popping out of the hand. It's nasty. It's nasty, and instantly they're shut down because of the pain factor, right? We are looking to immediately destroy the weapons of our opponent. You know, one of my good friends, Wing Chun buddy, he looked at me one day, we're having a discussion, and we're talking about bridging. And he goes, hey man, how do you bridge? I'm like, well, I don't know, I've been teaching your class all day how to bridge Kali style, how do you bridge? He goes, well, we don't. We wait for you to bridge. So, so what do you do? I'm like, you're gonna wait for me to bridge? Boom, I'm gonna take your hands right off. Right? I'm going to attack your weapons. And when your fingers and your weapons are completely all opened up, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do? Right? Look, if you don't like the way that sounds, if you don't like the fact that you want to sit there and complain and whine that Kyle, oh, you guys are using your weapons. Uh, uh, uh. Look, man, it's not our problem. Right? This is what we train for. We train to be able to handle multiple situations. If for some reason he's got his guard up, He's waiting for me, I'm going to smash right through that guard, right? Dude, Spartans fought the exact same way. Push forward, hit the shield, and clash, and go, and drive them back to the cliffs, right? This is, how, this, is, this, this is how you win. This is how you win. You drive through. But you're using the same principles no matter what you have in your hand or in the absence of. So when I'm learning how to train with this knife, I'm learning the same thing as... A pen, a pencil, a wrench, a screwdriver, whatever you want. Because you understand weaponry. Right? I could have something long, I could have something short, or I could have nothing at all. Destroy his weapons. All right, what do you think about these principles? You think they're intelligent? You think they're impossible to pull off? I'd love to hear your feedback, your comments down below. And uh, yeah, dude, I'll read every single one to them. I may not respond to them, but... I do read every single one. I try to get to as many of you guys as I possibly can. Look, if you want to learn this stuff, I mean, you really want to dive deep into Kali, you want to advance your skills, right? You got to come and train with us. You got to get off of YouTube and you got to come train with us. I can only do so much for free for you, but if you want to really dive down deep and you really want to invest in your training, if you're really actually serious about self-defense, take what I put in this video and really, really start thinking about it. All right, because when you talk about self-defense, I did a poll on YouTube here, 70, over 70% 70 of you guys answered that you're training for self-defense. So if you're making things more complicated than just taking one principle and overriding it over everything that you do, dude, you ain't training for self-defense then. You're just training for a bucket of knowledge so you can show off, you got all this knowledge to all your buddies. But if you're serious about building your skill, you really wanna do that, you gotta come train with us. You can get into the academy. We got a great massive library over there. If you want to pick it up even more, you want the top tier training of what we do here, contact me and we'll see about getting you into the inner triangle. It's not for everybody, but maybe it is for you. You can always join us. You can head on over to collicenter.com. We got lots of seminars coming up all throughout the year. I'd love to train with you. I'd love to answer your questions for you in person. All right, let's just get training, have some fun, and, uh, and work on developing some of those skills. All right, if you have a school, if you're a martial arts school owner, and you wanna you know, bring me out and, and have us come to you and teach you and your students and your group and all that, again, contact me over at colleycenter.com, and I'm more than happy we'll, we'll work something out. All right, until then, until then, good luck to you. Keep training, have fun in your training, guys. Don't be so super serious. Fun is the most important thing. And uh, I'll see you back here in the next video or 
I'll see you over at colleycenter.training where we can really kick off and get serious.